2020 started off looking like it was going to be a super exciting year. A, it was our 20th anniversary. B, it was Lance McDaniel's last year. Um, C, it was my third year um, in charge of overall programming. So it felt like it, we were just destined to have like the best festival ever. And we really planned on celebrating that with more programming, more films, more everything this year. And the the pandemic threw us a little bit of a curveball. I mean, I think when it became real was, you know, we usually take a trip to South by Southwest, you know, every year to sort of do last minute scouting for films and just sort of like a team retreat kind of thing. We all left the office one um, day in early March, um, thinking the next time we would see each other is when we were all meeting up to road trip down to Austin. This is something that would have been my ninth year to do. Um, it was a time we all loved spending together and celebrating film and, and just having a great time. We said goodbye, left the office, and the next thing you know, South by Southwest was canceled. And when that got canceled, it was like, oh man, that's when things felt real of like, is this even gonna happen this year? We held out hope for a while that, um, that the summer would come, the late spring would come, and that COVID would, um, it, that we would start to see that things were opening up again, that it was safe, that the virus wasn't spreading, and that we would all be able to come together as we had planned to celebrate our 20th year. But it became apparent that that was not going to happen. Sarah and Alex and Lance really immediately started thinking about, you know, well, it's not doing, it's not an option. So it's just a matter of, you know, bringing it back to being about the films and um, figuring out a way to just bring it to people where they are. Alex and Lance and I spent a considerable amount of time um, Zooming, calling, working together over our Google Drive and trying to figure out all the different scenarios that might take place. I believe we had 1,600 movies submitted to the festival and we picked 140 of those to play at our first ever virtual film festival. And so our 20th anniversary was our first time taking our festival online. Um, and I think it went fantastic. One of our biggest fears, honestly, going into this whole process was uh, people started quarantining themselves in March and we were really, really scared that people were gonna be sick and tired of watching movies at home. Uh, and that, that proved very much to not be the case. When I first heard that it was gonna go virtual, I had kind of mixed feelings just because I love you know, the theater experience. But once I talked to Sarah and Lance and, and, and the rest of the Dead Center team, um, and they kind of brought up kind of the cool things that they were hoping to do, including stuff like this. Um, I got very excited because, uh, for one, I've never had an outdoor screening for one of my films, so it's a totally new, kind of exciting experience. Well, we've never done a Dead Center out here. It's something new, and we're very excited about it. We're excited about the movies. To me, Dead Center is probably um, the biggest festival in Oklahoma, um, you know, when you consider, like, the international uh, aspect. People come from all over the world to come to Dead Center Film Festival. People coming to Dead Center this year from 25 foreign countries and 42 states. And so that was obviously a record for us and obviously transitioning the festival online allowed us to reach a much broader audience than we ever have in the past. It's so easy because it is virtual. It's like you don't even have to get out of your pajamas unless you have to come and get an award. So uh, it's so easy to just kind of get in there and take part in so many great films. And we've played festivals all over the place, uh, even in Europe. and. I just gotta say, Dead Center is still my favorite. It's, you can't beat it. Even the way it is this year with the things that have had to change. And they could have just canceled it, but no. Yeah. They figured out how to make it work, which is why Dead Center is awesome. And it's been awesome to watch all the films online and be a part of this. Um, kudos to everyone involved. I think our community, our city knows what the word resilience means, and Dead Center adapts. You know, creative people always adapt, can make art out of anything, and I, I'm just the biggest fan. I think this is, again, just such a great, great organization. Our team here with Alex and Sarah and Steven Tyler, um, kind of as the core team that was doing the transition, and then we were joined by Crystal Yusuf, who, um, who does all of our marketing and communication, which this year was probably the most, um, the most important ever because the entire world shut down. The things they're doing now are actually setting the stage for how they're going to do their festival 
for years to come. I loved getting to spend more time in discussion with the filmmakers um, on video. We were able to do longer Q and A's because we were pre-recording over Zoom. And we actually talked to many, many more filmmakers than we ever do, and those conversations were much more personal than they usually are. And the fact that we were able to offer free film classes with the Oklahoma Film and Music Office virtually, and those will be up year round. I really loved doing our award show at Jones Assembly. We've never done like an actual award show award show. We've always done a awards presentation at the outdoor screening, which we didn't really have this year. And we were able to introduce an audience award this year, which is something that's been on our punch list for years. We wish them the greatest success. We hope that this is the beginning of maybe something they do more often in the future. There were just tons of ideas for things that either happened or some things that didn't happen that we get to put in our back pocket that I think the festivals in the coming year, we learned a lot this year, and next year you're gonna see things that are just even more exciting than before. Well, this is my final year, and it was awesome taking the festival online, but what I'm excited about is that the team that brought this festival together, and that includes Alex Picard Davis, Sarah Thompson, Steven Tyler, Crystal Yosef, Corey Hall, all of these people are gonna be with us moving forward, and they have been down in the trenches together trying to figure out how do we completely renovate our business and um, and they figured it out and so I'm so excited that moving forward that everybody but me is gonna stay with the staff and they're gonna be taking it in, in exciting new directions and I just can't see I can't wait to see what happens next to all of our filmmakers who went on this journey with us to all of our audience who whether it was you know your 20th dead center to participate in or your very first Thank you for um, coming along with us on this ride. We are so excited for 2021. Stay tuned, because Dead Center's got a lot more coming. Um, we were very excited to continue playing in the virtual space and um, to continue to promote independent filmmakers and their films to the world.